In this video, I'm gonna be going over the six reasons why I think computer science is the best major to get into right now and for the coming years. My name is Sam, this is the Keep On Coding channel where we talk about everything tech, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. Also, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments or feel free to join my Discord, link in the description. So about myself, during my undergrad, I was initially a social science major with the intention of transferring to business economics. I ended up going into international studies, which is what I got my bachelor's degree in. Six years later, I ended up graduating with a master's in computer science. So does having a computer science degree make my opinion a little biased? Probably. Do I still think it's true? Yeah. So this list is in no particular order, but let's get into reason number one, which is you don't need any programming experience to start. To be honest, I was pretty intimidated. I was worried that Everyone there uh, had been programming since they were old enough to pick up a keyboard, and that just wasn't the case. Most people in my class had never written a line of code in their life. Sure, some people had some coding experience before, but I mean, I did some prep beforehand because I thought I needed to catch up, and I ended up doing some C++ prep, and just that alone put me way ahead of the game. So really, anyone can get started. I also do want to say that you don't need to be as good at math as you think. Yes, it is engineering. Yes, there will be math, but for my master's degree, I never had to take a class above calculus two. I took linear algebra, uh, discrete math, probability, but I never had to take calc three. I never had to take a physics class. I never had to take a part two to any of those other classes I mentioned. And while those classes aren't easy, um, they really weren't that bad in my opinion. I was able to pretty much supplement everything I learned in class from just looking stuff up on YouTube. And I think the trick to learning math is to really understand everything before you move on. Otherwise, that's how you get lost. Math is really just about building on previous concepts. And once I figured that out, that's where I felt like I really started to excel. And this is coming from someone who failed calculus in during their undergrad. And I retook it and I got like a C minus. So if, trust me, if I can do it, anyone can do it. The second reason why computer science is the best major is the opportunity for internships. In between my two years of my master's degree, I was able to get an internship with Amazon and I, I was still fairly new to live coding technical interviews. So, I mean, I could only imagine what offers I would have gotten if I had like maybe another year under my belt. And it's not just tech companies that are hiring. It's, you know, pretty much every company has a software or IT department that are looking for interns. And it's just a lot easier to get an internship versus a full-time job. I think companies are a lot more likely to give you an offer because it, it, if it doesn't work out, it's a small investment for them. Just the internship is over. I also do have a video on how to get a software engineering internship. So you guys should definitely check that out. And of course, we've got to talk about how well these internships pay. I mean, this screenshot from Glassdoor shows that the average software engineer intern in San Francisco makes almost $100,000. So you have these 20 year olds making more than what most people make in their mid-career pay. I haven't used my internship money to pay for my entire second year of grad school, including rent and tuition. Not to mention internships are fun as hell. I mean, it almost felt like I was at a camp or something. We just worked on stuff during the day. We learned a lot. And then at night we went out with the other interns. There are tons of networking events with other interns. Just it's just an all around good time. And a lot of these internships turn into full time offers. And, and let me tell you guys, the stress of going into your senior year, knowing you already have something locked up. I mean, it's just an amazing feeling. And the third reason is the jobs, the job market and the job itself. There's a very good hiring rate for software developers that are graduating. It's still not easy, but relative to other fields, I mean, there's no comparison. US News has software developers as the number one job for 2020. And this is a combination of salary, low stress, but also job fulfillment. I mean, there are a lot of jobs that you do and you're like, why am I doing this? But with software, you're you're building stuff that other people are using. So it's, it's very self-fulfilling in my opinion. And uh, yeah, don't be surprised if software engineering is number one again on their 2021 list. And these universities make it easy for students to get jobs. I mean, not only do they want to help their students, but it's also works as a selling point for them. Like our X amount of our students got jobs upon graduating or our students make an average of this, this much salary. So, you know, we even had career fairs that were dedicated just for computer science students. And, and these weren't small events. These were like 
all the big tech companies were there. And a lot of these companies just hosted events throughout the year. Like I remember I went to an, some random event that Facebook was hosting and there was a recruiter there. I gave them my resume and I ended up landing an interview with Facebook. Our university also had their very own job board, which I use a lot. I think I got an interview like at Amazon just from using that job board. If we look at this screenshot from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, we look at the 2019 median pay was $107,000 per year. And this is just the average of the entire United States. Not to mention if you're going to the tech hotspots, it's gonna be way above this amount. We see the typical entry level is a bachelor's degree. And I guarantee you it's gonna be in computer science or something related. We look at the number of jobs in 2019 is 1.4 million. And the job outlook for the next 10 years is a gain of 22%, which is, as it shows here, much faster than average. And the job itself of a software developer is fairly low stress. I mean, it depends on what industry you're in, of course, but we compare engineering a lot to like law or, or medicine and compared to those, I mean, it's dramatically less stressful. It also gives you the ability to work remotely, right? So, I mean, software, you don't really need to be there in person to do your work. And I feel like especially what's going on now, I think more and more companies are heading towards that direction. So that eliminates time for your commute. You could like travel wherever you want is, and work from there. So I think that's a pretty awesome thing that that kind of gets overlooked. The next reason is going to be salary upon graduating. Now we kind of covered this in the last two sections, so I'm not going to go too in depth with this. But I remember one of my professors would uh, he would say, you know, I have these students, I teach them and then the next year they go and get jobs and they end up making more money than I do. And every year it seems like it's it's just the salaries are rising and rising. And, and not to mention, if you get in with a public company, they just give you a bunch of shares, which over the last several years we've seen tech stock prices explode. So with that alone, you can make ridiculous amounts of money and like almost double your salary. So graduating, starting with a six figure salary is absolutely doable or even close to six figures, which is really just not possible for, uh, for other majors at the entry level. The next reason why computer science is the best major is that the skills that you learn are directly applied to your job. Now going back to my undergraduate major, which was international studies, uh, what I learned there, pretty much did not help me at all at my job. My first job was a, a bank teller, which I mean, I probably didn't even have to go to college for. I literally could have done that after high school. And I think most most majors that end in, in studies are kind of a waste. I mean, I'm not saying they're not important topics. You know, they absolutely are. But I'm just saying like there are things that you can learn without spending a fortune or, or four years of your life on. Like myself, as well as my siblings, we all did like international studies or environmental studies, and, and none of us are doing anything related to that now. Computer science majors have the advantage of, of studying something that will directly help them once they start working. I mean, you do a lot of group projects, uh, you're working with source control, you're doing code reviews, you're looking at a lot of other people's code, you have a lot of people working on the same code base. I mean, when you work, it's gonna be a little bit different, like you might be using a different programming language or, or whatever, but a lot of the, the fundamentals are gonna be the same. And the last, but not least reason is the empowerment you feel upon graduating. I remember for me, I was ready to take on the world. I mean, it's like it's like the modern day superpower. You, you really do have the ability to make a, a large impact on the world. You wanna start your own company or, or create a product? You have the skill set to do it. You're learning the, the new language of the world. I, I really feel like in the future, not knowing how to read code is, is almost like not knowing how to read English. And once you become a solid developer, the world is your oyster because at that point, you can do whatever you want as long as you're willing to work at it and keep learning. And, and, and yes, your learning will have only begun at that point. One of my professors told me, he's like, the, the main thing you get out of a degree is that it teaches you how to learn. So you're really just learning how to learn because software development, you're running into a lot of new problems. You're learning a lot of new, new technology. So the faster you can learn things, the better. So, you know, those are the six reasons why I think computer science is the best college major. So the question of the day for you is, first of all, do you guys agree that it is the best major? If not, what's better? Also, let me know if there's a reason that you can think of that I didn't mention. If you guys enjoyed the video or if this helped you make a decision on what major you, you want to study, make sure you guys smash the like button and it really does help the video in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching and come a little closer. Keep on coding.